I look like somebody on TV. So just wait until it dry and I pick it up to a roll. Sorry for that really weird intro, but yes, I know my hair looks crazy. This is day seven hair, and today we're gonna do a hair care routine. I'm gonna show y'all what I use for my shampoo, my conditioner, what products I put in my hair, everything. So this should be a fun video. Now I wanted to say thank you to everyone who watched my last video and who liked it. I got some really positive feedback from it, and that was like my really first actual official video. So. The nice comments really helped, so I am going to keep uploading videos for you guys. So, just remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye! See y'all later! Well, just keep watching the video so you can see what I'm about to do to my hair. So don't leave, actually. Okay, before washing my hair, I like to detangle it with a wide tooth comb. And I take this spray bottle and I spritz my hair with it. Because I noticed that when I do it this way, my hair doesn't break off as much. So, now what we're going to do is just... Spray your hair. You want to get it like really wet. And then, you know, run your fingers through it first. Like, finger to tangle before you use the comb. So you can try to get like the kinks out before you go in with the comb. So, your hair can be like fully detangled. You see like that. Okay, so once you're done finger detangling, you wanna take the comb and comb it, but start from the ends up because if you start from right here, you just snatch your hair out, so. But also finger detangle too while you comb it. And remember, start from the ends and go all the way up so you're not snatching out your hair. Okay, so this side is fully detangled, so now we're gonna move on to the next section. Oh yeah, what do people act like call folks bald headed? Yeah, yeah, don't don't ever let shrinkage fool you. Don't let shrinkage fool you. You ready? Let's go! And this is just to clean your scalp and clean your hair from like dirt buildup and stuff. And this is really good because it has no sulfates, no silicone, or nothing like that. It just it's all natural. So if you're natural, use this to clean. And while I'm doing this, please, please, please do not scratch your scalp. Use the balls of your fingers to massage your scalp because if you scratch your scalp, you're gonna irritate it and stuff. And it may cause your hair to flick even more if it's not already flicking. So you just massage this in your hair for about three to five minutes or however much you feel like. Or until you feel like your hair is clean. Okay, so the apple cider vinegar rinses out my hair now. And now we're about to shampoo. And what I use is the Carl's Daughter Black Vanilla um, Sulfate Free Shampoo. If you don't like to shampoo your hair, I would recommend using the co-wash. So I use the Cream of Nature co-wash sometimes and I don't feel like washing my hair. And you can use that too because it's, it's pretty good for your hair too if you don't like to use shampoo. So, Okay, for conditioner, I use the Cream of Nature Pure Honey Moisturizing Dry Defense Conditioner. I like this conditioner. Oh yeah, for that shampoo, I forgot to tell y'all. If you want to get it, please buy it from Walmart. Do not buy it from a beauty supply store because I pay like $15 for it and I go on Walmart and it's like $10, $11 and I'm running out of this. I need to get some more of this too. But yeah, moral of the story, go to Walmart for some hair care products because Walmart has them there too and they have it for a lot cheaper than if you was to buy it from a hair store. So, so yeah, save your coins. Do not let these hair stores finesse you because I got finesse. So don't let them finesse you. 
After you're done conditioning, you're going to take your hair and put it back into four sections so that you can put the product into it. I do four sections because it's easier for you to like focus on each section, section of hair. The cream of nature, this pure honey twisting cream. It's for twist outs, but I use it on my hair like all the time and it gives me amazing results, y'all. Like this product, once you use it, you will not use anything else. In our okay, so... You know, my, my hair is still damp, so I'm just going to take a, a section, put the rest back into a ponytail, and take the comb and comb through it. Make sure it's detangled. Then take this brush and brush it. Make sure it's also detangled. And you grab a little bit, like literally just a little bit. Maybe that much. It's probably too much, actually. Well, it's not. Okay, and then you put it in your hair like this. That's why I put it into four sections, because you have to take your time to do this. Because if you want your hair to look good, you have to take your time on it. So you want your curls to be popping, you got to take your time <laughs> on making sure your curls are going to pop. See? This product is amazing because it does not make my hair dry, it does not make it flake after I put it in. I probably won't have to moisturize my hair for three days, maybe four. Well, on my day seven hair, I didn't moisturize it at all and it wasn't as dry as I thought it would be. But yeah, this stuff is great, y'all. Make sure you get some, especially if you have like type four hair or type three hair or curly hair. This will work Okay, so look, we got one side done. Now, let's finish the rest. This is tiring. I said it would kind of be a little tiring, but... If you want your hair to look nice and you got patience and you gotta sit through it. I don't wanna take no pictures. Today I'm not cold at how you feel. Today I don't give a fuck how you feel. And now I wanna go in front of the crowd. Okay, so we're finally done. Okay, in the video you probably saw me putting um more water in my hair. That was because my hair was drying up. And when your hair is wet and you put product in it it holds better that's because like the only way to truly moisturize your hair or hydrate your hair is through water so when you're putting product in your hair make sure you're putting a good amount of product in your hair and a good amount of water but do not put more product than water in your hair because if you do it's going to wear your hair down your hair is going to be greasy your hair is just gonna it's not going to work so make sure you put enough water people just think that they get curls from just product the curls really come from your hair type in the water so just make sure you hydrate your hair with water before putting the product in and you will find better results if you're using more product than water then you will see like your hair weighing down so if you try it the other way and you put a good amount of water in it and enough products in it then you should see a difference in your hair so that's all if you want any type of other videos just leave below in the comment because i don't know what what video i'm going to do next i may upload another video tomorrow well actually i am going to upload another video tomorrow because i'm going to start posting more so just be on the lookout for that so just like comment and subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching my video